designed by Frank Milburn. The construction began in 1904 and was completed in 1905. Um, interestingly enough, not on this slide, but you might like to know, the entire cost for the construction of that courthouse was only $60,000. The first murder trial began on July the 17th, 1905. Um, the last murder trial finished up the same week that the courts began to move into the new building here. The structure has received several facelifts over the years, and in 1980, it was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. Some considerations as the committee moves through this process, there's currently $2 million in SPA 7 allocations that were approved by the voters um, to fund the direction that you all um, suggest and the committee recommends to the commission. I mean, it is important that the historical character of the building be maintained. I think that's been a resounding statement from everyone who came to the meeting yesterday and some of you here today. Um, there is maintenance work that needs to be done on the HVAC, to, uh, also some marble work that needs to be fixed and replaced, the windows need replacing, and the entire structure needs cleaning really well. It is being maintained um, to make sure that there's enough heating in there there to take care of any mold problems that might happen. Public Works is checking on the plumbing on a regular basis to make sure that there's no damage or something that happens that we're not aware of. But since the annex was taken down, um, the funding has not been spent to go through and thoroughly clean all the construction dust and what was, was uh, created from that project. So that needs to be a part of it. There are three floors uh, and a basement. On the first floor, there's about 6,500 square feet heated. Um, that's where Magistrate Court, State Court, and the Probate Court were housed. On the second floor, there's a renovated courtroom that is still functional, and Judge McLean will probably talk a little bit about this more in a minute, um, but it is um, a priority to maintain the functionality of that courtroom. On the third floor, there is a partial floor with some office space, about 2,300 square feet. And in the basement, there's 3,800 square feet, and this is partially climate controlled currently. Any of you who have ever been in the um, basement of that building know that there are some areas that the floor is still dirt, the original brick is still there. It's pretty interesting. Um, it's a beautiful building. I mean, you can obviously tell the time period whenever you go in, but when you go in that basement, you really get a feeling for what all of those that came before us dealt with and worked in environmentally um, in that building. There are some current uses um, still at the courthouse. That second floor is being maintained for large trials. Uh, I think we've had court there twice since everyone moved over to this building. Um, there are still records that are being stored in the facility. Um, and the campus around the building is used quite a bit for farm days, the Black Men Barbecue, the Brown Bag Concert Series, um, festivals, rallies, um, and the Juneteenth celebration. So the process moving forward, the committee is currently gathering public input. Then they're gonna do some research based on all of your suggestions. Um, then they're gonna consolidate their findings and present a recommendation to the Board of Commissioners. So finally for today, presenters will be heard in the order in which they signed in. Um, and we're limiting that to 10 minutes. If you would like additional time later or if you would like to submit something in writing or additional presentation, you can certainly um, do that to my office. You can email it or drop it off. Um, and all presentations or submitted documents are public record and a part of the Open Records um, Act. They are subject to that review. So um, please keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna go through the sign-in list and just call your name out. And if you would rather not speak and you would just like to pass, you can say so. Um, if not, then Judge McLean will call you up. And if you will just state your name and address for the record, then we'll make some notes on what you have to say. Thank you, Paige. 